Hey there folks, um, just wanted to share a video with you guys uh, regarding this new uh, knife maker that uh, I discovered while I was checking out the, the TAD site, the Triple Lot design site. The other day they had a sale on, um, you know, I, I signed up for the Triple Lot site and they, uh, they send you emails when they have specials, uh, you know, if you want to get the Dauntless knives or anything. This particular day they had... Um, uh, basically a fixed blade for sale, which I've never heard of the uh, the maker. So, uh, you know, if you guys don't, just do it on my phone real quick. If you go to the Dauntless site, they sell a couple of things. Let's see what kind of equipment they have. <clears throat> they sell these kind of things, right? So, uh, I was checking out their stuff, and I got the email regarding this knife. Let's see if it'll come up. Okay, there it goes. You know, it's a uh, full tie, it's a uh, fixed blade, you know, it's pretty basic, uh, nothing special. I ended up not getting it, but what caught me was the price of the knife, you know, for a full, for a full uh, tie knife, I thought it was pretty reasonable. It's out of stock now, so I guess they sold well. So uh, I took it upon myself to uh, look up this guy's site, uh, the owner of the, the maker owner, uh, manager, sales guy is uh, Mark Mummert. So I gave him a call just to pick his brain regarding his knives, and um, and I went to his website also, and I saw that he also makes tactical knives. So let me just bring it up. Sorry, I'm not prepared. Horrible. Yeah. So. This is uh, this gentleman's site, Mark Mummert's site. And I saw he has a bunch of tools, accessories. I'll just go right to it. Uh, tactical. Let's see what he's got. I saw he had he has a couple of fixed blades, right? He's got like this uh, tactical spear, an axe, and then he has this, uh, this folder. Now, this thing is full tie. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, see it well. But if you go to his site, Mark Mummert, Mummert Knives. So this thing caught my eye. There's a couple of shots of it. This thing's full titanium. He's got this patented blood groove. I asked him about that blood groove. I wasn't really too crazy about the design. I asked him if he was married to that to that particular design. He said he was. That's kind of like his signature thing. So, uh, but look how thick the titanium is. This is full tie. He can make it's full tie. He could also make the blade in titanium if you want, or if you prefer, you can do it in steel. So I gave him a call, and um, and I was interested in it. And he's talking about he's going to be making it soon. Uh, he could put me on the list, you know, to uh, for it. Uh, it sounded promising, so I figured I'll check it out. He's got me on the list. He's got my email, and uh, I figured to test it out. I'd check out one of his. Uh, products that he sells. He sells these uh, this bottle opener, like a multi-tool bottle opener that he can anodize. So I ordered it and you see what it looks like over there on the site, right? I'm sorry for the wavy lines if you see that. So, and I got it today and here it is. Right? Same shape. Now, I'm assuming this is uh, electro anodized. Um, and it's a thick piece of titanium, right? It's a pretty good slab. But basically, I wanted to test it out to see if I do get this knife. I ordered this knife from. I want to see the quality of work. Um, to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with the uh, anodizing. So I guess I don't know if this was electro anodized. I don't think this was uh, flame or heat anodized. But maybe because I was very specific with the colors. He wasn't able to go really artistic on it. Uh, I wanted like a blue and orange. This is more like a blue and copper. But it's a good piece of titanium. It's very solid. It's got a pry bar thing here. We got a little bit of snow today. What you might be hearing in the background is the snow plows. All right, it's got a hex key bottle opener. The reason I'm doing this video, and it's gonna be, this is pretty much gonna be the end of the video. I just wanted to share this with you guys, but uh, He's got his logo. 
right? This guy's logo there, Momert knives. But I just want to do a comparison of my new knife, right? The one I just got from uh, the Grimsmo brothers. And this was heat anodized, this was flame anodized. And when you look at this, you really, I know um, Modifieds made a comment that uh, he thought that this was electro anode, but actually I, I, I spoke with um, John and he said, Eric definitely did this with uh, heat, with a flame anode. And, uh, and I guess it takes, it's obvious, it's uh, clear that it's very difficult to do. And um, I mean, it takes quite a bit of skill just to get these different colors on it. Hope you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get the light a little better. So, um, yeah. See the colors on it? I showed this before. Oh, by the way, I contacted Spyderco. I know some people were annoyed that this was missing uh, a screw. Uh, Spyderco was pretty cool about it. I emailed them. They're going to send me replacement screws. So that should be coming any day now. But, um, yeah. Just in comparison... Just look at the difference in the anod, you know, anodizing with these two equipments right here. I mean, I'm still curious with this knife, this tactical knife. I'm still very curious about it. Um, so I'm on the list, see what happens. But uh, yeah, just a quick video on that. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So uh, if you want to check them out, it's Mummert Knives. Um, he's got a few things that he sells. He sells uh, like a, his uh, own version of a carabiner. You can call him up too. He'll pick up the phone. You can email him, call him. You're going to get this gentleman right here. And, you know, it's a small operation. He's, uh, he's just fairly new at it, getting started. Uh, I don't really know too much about him. Um, basically, I'm just checking out his work myself. So I'm not endorsing him. I just figure we'll help out a, a new guy, and you guys can check him out for yourselves. See if you're interested. Go to his uh, to his website, MomentKnives.com, and see what he's got. Um, and his prices are pretty reasonable too. I saw this. If you go to the Tad site, they had something similar to this for like a hundred bucks. Uh, this one he charged me thirty-four bucks. Uh, so it's pretty comparable to like the Boker ones. If you look at uh, Blade HQ, they have a Boker. Uh, Multi tools like this, they go for about 24, 30 bucks, something like that. So it's pretty comparable with Boker. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's really it. I just wanted to share with you guys. So, uh, so go check it out. If you're interested in getting something, he also, again, he has these fixed, blade, fixed blades and tactical knives. You know, you might get on the jump start of a brand new company, a new knife company. Uh, he's off to a good start because he was on uh, the Triple Art design, so he sold all those uh, fixed blades. But, uh, yeah, that's it, really. All right, so a um, little FYI for you guys. Everyone's concerned about getting uh, these these uh, hinderers and uh, these, um, who's the other gentleman? Um, Hobacks, right? They're in such high demand that uh got to wait forever unless I'm still waiting for my Hoback. So, um, might give this guy a shot. All right, folks. Peace.